Also try to protect Zomboid. Oh, that's okay. That could be the thing that I do. Like so for each one of these, for each one of these starts, I could read off whatever the thing is. And then we go single player, long play. Let's get into it. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little, that's a nice little intro piece. All right, come on diamonds. I don't know. So do I keep going on the podcast stuff? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I still, I still have that. I still have that like kind of initial activation energy happening. It's kind of cool. But I'm like, I'm feeling it. Like a bunch of that has burned off, and like burned off. Like, I think, I think, well, like when you launch a rocket ship, they do a thing where there's potential like hydrogen buildup around the ship before like right before launch and so they like burn some stuff off and also like on the space shuttle they would have like the main engine start and before the boosters would kick up which is actually the opposite of the thing that i was thinking because like it was it would, this would be more like the boosters need to like fire off a little bit and then we get to oh actually you, I, okay so you could use it as an analogy right because there's the there's the boosters which get you kind of off the ground and then those fall off and then you just go to main engines and for main engines, that's where you have that thing. So like this, this is the booster rockets taking off part. Like this is the, like, we're just going to absolutely floor it for a minute because that's what we need in order to get to a place where the main engines can, can break us into orbit. We, we got to fire some stuff off. By the way, I grew up in a town with people who built rockets and worked on the space shuttle, Marshall Space Flight Center. Very cool. All right, uh, let's see. Minecrafting, Minecrafting, Minecrafting. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just chill out for a little bit. This is this is interesting. It's, the programming thing is going to be interesting too, right? Because like the conversation is going to change very much as we do the programming, and it's that's really going to be all over the place. I think because it's going to be going back and forth between code, between talking podcast stuff, between I'm going to ignore that redstone. I'm going to ignore that redstone. No, I'm not. I'm going to take it. We still got a little bit on this pickaxe. And again, hopefully it connects to a diamond. Let's just poke here a little bit more. Negative Ghost Rider. Negative Ghost Riders. Okay, I collect band names. Or I collect cool sounding turns of phrase that would make great band names. Negative Ghost Rider is one of them. I think that would be a pretty good one. But yeah, that that I'm I'm really curious to see how that goes. Cause it'll I I've got this idea for basically a couple different types of content for the you know, the educational material. Which again, like I just that sounds so like formal and so stiff. But like, it's, it's really like for the stuff that I'm going to make that can potentially learn you how to, how to, how to do some programming stuff or just watch and be interested in it or like whatever. Like, I don't know. I look at the contraptions that people make for redstone and I can't imagine that. Okay. Hey, we found a, we actually found the hole. Um, all right, so we're gonna turn back around. I'm gonna go to this chunk border and then we'll turn back around. But like, I can't imagine. Oh, there's a chunk border right there. Perfect. I can't imagine that most people build anything near the constructions that the YouTubers who make the giant contraptions make, because those take a tremendous amount of time. Even if you have the plans, like those take a tremendous amount of time and energy. I I have a feeling those are mostly just watched for kind of the the thing of like seeing the thing exist, seeing it be built, seeing it, whatever, like as the experience of the observer and of the audience. So my expectation is a huge portion of what I do will be in the same vein where it's not going to be a thing where people necessarily do the thing, but like I'm, but this is programming. And I think there might be a little more of people doing it with me, especially because I'm going to explicitly make that a goal based off of that 
idea for my teacher buddy of first I do it, then we do it, then you do it. And I, I can't really do too much about that last part. But the first I do it, then we do it, like, I'm going to design, or not design, but, like, the, the method I'm going to use, I think I just lagged. I thought I built, made that block go away and then came back. Um... But, but I really like this idea of first I do it. And so I'm going to, I'm basically say like, as I'm doing this stuff, just kind of sit back and watch and I'll explain what I'm doing. And then if you want to do it with me, I'll go through it a second time much faster where you kind of already know what's happening and you're, you're just following along and just doing the practice with me. And then there's, there's a pre runner to that, which is going to be kind of in these long form videos where I'm figuring out what to do. That's where I punched the hole. Wait, oh, I'm not over far enough. Or am I? Oh, that's where I pulled the other redstone. I am far enough over. Okay, cool. Again, so I want to I want to I want to see two blocks because I, I already saw the block this level, this side of the box, and now I want to see the side of the box. So this lets me see all like I'm seeing all the blocks in this pattern like Everything on the floor, everything on this side, everything on that side. And when I jump over, I'm only over one other block. So I see it. That I have to go. Now. But yeah, so there'll be the third thing of me. Like I'm I've when I was doing the scratch videos, I kind of call it behind the scenes. So it's the behind the scenes video of how we get to so, the, the, so there's basically, first I figure it out, then I do it, then we do it. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good way to look at that. I like that. Yeah, f first I figure out what I'm doing. And like, I, I, so I kind of already know, I like this idea of splitting things into the how and the what. And there's, there's two levels of how. So the what is, what is the thing that I am trying to do? And the how, broken down into the two parts that I'm just coming up with on the fly right now, is how do I do it, generally speaking, I think I'm out of pickaxes, I am, I don't have a chest, there's, but there's one back there, all right. I'm now glad I brought this chest over, because it's going to be right here, I think. Right here. Or not chest, whatever this thing's called. Ooh, two sticks, perfect. Can you make a pickaxe with that? You can. Uh, can I make some more sticks? Because I feel like maybe we're going to need more pickaxes. But the how can be broken down into how do I do this in general, uh, generally speaking, which would be like learning the language and learning the way that you can, you can call something and have it do one thing one way and another thing another way, which is, which is what's called a conditional statement or an if statement. So you have to learn that version. Of it. Then you also have to learn the, the specific how of given the tools that I now know or that I have learned or am learning, how do I do the specific thing that I'm trying to do? And I'll, like, I'm going to get into both of those aspects. The th and, and I think the way that it's probably going to roll is... The first iteration will be me. so. I already know. I already know the languages or the language. Yeah, actually, I'm learning language. But like, one, once you know one computer language of kind of a given category, it's it's relatively straightforward to pick up other languages in that same category. And we'll talk about the categories of languages and the way that that works at some point. But it's you can think of it a little bit like if you know a Germanic language. It's it's easier to pick up another Germanic language than it is to pick up uh, Japanese, for example, or Chinese or Korean, like the the, the J K C C K J. I don't know. There's a there's a term for those languages collectively, but like when you're when you go from from English to German, the letters are basically the same. Like German has umlauts on them and other little symbols that English doesn't have, but an A still is an A and a B is still a B. And like the, the alphabet is largely the same. Like most of the alphabet's the same minus the things with the umlauts. 
versus going into something that I think the the CJK languages, which I think the the characters are called kanji. I'm not 100% sure about that. But whatever it is, like it's it's a very different thing. And so in programming languages, the language that I'm going to be using for this computer stuff and the language that's built into the to the CC tweaked or computer craft is called Lua. And in Lua, Lua looks very much like Python, which is another computer language, which is the way that we program computers. I know Python. I I don't or I know I I know I know enough of, like knowing things, right? Like I I can program pretty well in Python. I haven't done Lua before. Really? I've done a touch of it, but not much. But it's close enough to Python that I have some understanding of how it works versus another language. Like another one would be called Lisp. Lisp is very different. And I'll, I'll talk some about the differences of those and show you some of the differences and how they work that and why they're so much different. But like going from Python to Lua would be like going from English to German. Going from Python to Lisp would be like going from Python to Japanese. And so I like I'm comfortable enough with the Python stuff that I can make the jump to Lua pretty quickly. So even though I'm still very new to it, it it's familiar like the 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 category is familiar enough to me that we can make it pretty like I've got the, I've got that part of the how pretty well down. There'll be some things we have to look up because it's new and that's fine because it's cool. That's how we learn. And like this is going to be some of me learning too and some of me practicing. But the other part of the how, like how do I want to actually do the approach? So I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess you could categorize the hows into how do I use the language and then how, and then the approach. So how do I approach this? We did need more than one pickaxe. Thought that might be the case. Versus the what, which is the what is the thing that I'm going to do. And so the the methodology I think is going to be the the first part of it is going to be figuring out the what like that's pretty easy like we want to make something that makes it easier to light up a cave so that's the what that's the goal the the next part is doing that how and I've already got the first level of the how done effectively or I'm very so not not done done but like I'm pretty far along the path of learning that how because these are all something that you can consider as paths paths of of learning paths of acquiring knowledge paths of education see i don't like education is just such a eh, word to me but i mean it's super important and super whatever but like it sound like if i if i say i'm like if i tell somebody i'm making educational content who's not also an educator like that's that is true but it's not the way i would present it to the folks that i'm interested in, in connecting with I don't I would I don't want to tell you I'm making educational content. I want to say, "Hey, check this out. I made some cool stuff that works in Minecraft where you can uh, not have to use redstone to light up caves. Or you can light up caves and you can make machines and you can make farms without redstone." You interested? Is that cool? I think it's cool. It's a lot of fun. You can just watch or you can play along at home. Out of torches. Okay, that pickaxe is getting red. So we're going to Hit this redstone and see if maybe, 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 maybe it's connected to some, oh, it's connected to gold. See, sometimes they're connected. I don't really need to mine the gold, but I can mine around the gold. Let's just, I'm going to pull out, actually, I don't need to mine this stuff because I don't need this stuff right now. Oh, I'm going to need gold later though. Okay, I do want to mine the gold. Because there's, there's two different types of computers. There's the regular computer and an advanced computer. The advanced ones need gold. So we're going to pick up this gold. I'm going to mine around it first and see if we hit some diamonds. We're going to hear the eerie noise. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, so I, like, I'm just, I'm just making stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hello, diamond. You are exactly what we need. I'm going to go ahead and pick you up right now with the good pickaxe. Just one. There's only the one. Turns out that's all we needed, though. I am going to look around a little bit more and see if there's... Yeah, ha! If there's another one. Maybe two. Maybe two. Okay. Awesome. I did pick it up, right? Okay, three diamonds. Quite sweet. Was 
just poke around a little bit more and see if we see anything else. But yeah, so like I'm just making some stuff. And but like through making some stuff, it's the it's the it's the I'm gonna uh what's the oh there's a phrase for this. Pick up that gold? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um show don't tell, right? Is a is a phrase that gets used in education, but talking about like learning stuff or whatever. Like it's it's and I I really like that. Like I'm showing oh I'm out of torches. Oh, this is perfect. I got some gold, I got some diamonds, I'm out of torches. It all happened at the same time. We're set. Okay, we can go up and we can actually make some stuff now. Oh, we need iron. We still need some more iron. That's okay, though. Hopefully that won't take nearly as long to find. It's also funny because I can kind of look at some, some timestamps here and see how long some of this stuff is taking to do. Uh, let's prep this stuff to go up. I don't need any of that stuff. I'm going to take the wheat with me. I'm going to drop a couple of these off. I'll just leave the stuff down here. That's all cool. That's cool. Love it. Uh, let's go ahead and take our crafting table up. And take our furnace up. Okay, I've got another pickaxe. So I don't, this pickaxe, if I burn this pickaxe, it's fine. Oh, I should have made torches. Oh well, I'll make this up here. Let's go up to level 25. Ah, oh, I, I totally lost it. What's funny is I could actually go rewind for a second and listen and like listen back, but that would like, I'd have to pause stuff and do whatever and like, eh, you know. See, there's the chunk border. Ooh, more gold. Okay, we're gonna grab the more gold. Because we need the gold. Oh, gold. There's also a ruined portal over there outside. So I, I don't, okay, I'm not gonna use the iron pickaxe because if we find more gold, I need to be able to hit that. I'm not gonna take that redstone. I really have a bunch of it. And like this pickaxe is getting like, you know, it's it's a little, it's a little beat up. It, it's, done a, it's done a great job for us, but like we're gonna, we're gonna give it a break here. I'm also not gonna get the copper because I don't think we really need the copper. All right, let's see what level we're on. We are on level minus seven. I'm not even gonna try and count. I'm just gonna go up some and then look again. Oh, I can almost get back to what I was talking about, but kind of can't right now. Ooh, more gold. Ooh, iron. We blew right past that earlier. I'm gonna get the iron first. Come on, big old iron vein. How many, do we, oh, I think this is enough. That feels like enough. That's 11. That's definitely enough. The reason I can think of that is because you can only put nine things in the crafting tables. And so it has, like, the maximum number it can be is nine. Some gold here. Look at all this gold. Wow. We're going to be in pretty good shape, actually. This is cool. I'm less afraid about using the pickaxe now because we have all the stuff we need. Okay, that's cool. Anything else over here? Still, uh, okay, I'm gonna stop digging that out so that I don't make a dark space where the monsters grow. When we were talking about educational content, we were talking about language, we were talking about things, we are talking about the skeleton to the right. It's fine. Uh, okay, cool. So, no, this is actually in really good shape. I'm, okay, so I'm gonna stop this one now and... There's no chest here. That's fine. I'm going to stop this one now because we're about to go do some crafting stuff and like that's going to take my focus. Oh, I'm probably going to get eaten by a phantom here at some point. Our trees are here. This is all cool. Yeah. So I'm going to go sleep. We're going to... Actually, am I? No, it's not like... We'll build this up in a second. Um, the next one may not be in the podcast line. It may just be straight whatever but we're gonna make some computer stuff so here's here's where we start making the computer uh as we go through this i hope you all have a good one uh be kind be cool we'll see you next time until then cheers